Hey scientists, tonight I want to wrap up all of our learning by reading you a book. This book is called Glow, Animals with Their Own Nightlights by W.H. Beck. Glow. It's called Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is when living things make their own light. They glow. You might know some animals that glow. You might recognize fireflies, which aren't flies at all, but a type of beetle. Scientists think that their lights may warn predators, such as bats, that they aren't good meals. But others might be new to you. Angelfish lure other fish to them with a glowing light organ. I'm sorry, that's anglerfish. Some glow on land. Many fungi, such as these foxfire mushrooms growing on rotting wood, light up the forest floor. Some glow in the air. Fireflies blink and flash to talk to other fireflies. They find their mate using their light too. But more than anywhere else on our planet, animals glow in the water. That's because sunlight can't reach very far under the waves. It's dark, so the animals make their own light. They glow. Water covers two thirds of the earth. An estimated 50 to 80% of all life forms, including the white anglerfish and glowing sucker octopus seen here, are found under the ocean's surface. Are you wondering how animals glow? They have special chemicals called luciferin and luciferase, or, I'm sorry, in or on their bodies. These chemicals mix with oxygen and make light. Why do they glow? Well, they glow to hunt. The scaly dragonfish lures its prey with a light near its mouth. When a fish comes by to check it out, the dragonfish opens its jaws and scoops it in. They glow to hide. Many ocean creatures, such as the jewel squid, use counter illumination. They can adjust their light so that their undersides match the sunlight above the water. Then the fish hunting them from below can't see them. They glow to find a friend. Not only is it dark deep in the ocean, but there's a lot of room. Lanternfish find other lanternfish with the lights on their sides. Bioluminescence is the most widely used form of communication on the planet. They glow to lose an enemy. A brittle star can drop an arm when, when it's in danger. Its enemy will follow the glowing arm, which allows the rest of the star to get away. They glow to trick. Small fish follow the light on the tip of the gulper eel's tail, thinking it's a piece of food. They get close, then gulp. The gulper eel's hinged, pelican-like mouth allows it to swallow animals even bigger than it is. They glow to invite. Glowworms, like these in a cave in New Zealand, are actually firefly larvae. Their light draws insects into the cave. Then the glowworms snag them with sticky silk threads hung from the ceiling. Fun fact, I have been in those glowworm caves. They are magnificent. They glow to call for help. A tola jellyfish act as a burglar alarm. They light up when attacked in the hope that a larger animal will come to eat their predator. They glow to fight back. 
When the deep sea Spanish dancer is threatened, its outer skin lights up, comes off, and sticks to its attacker. Now the predator is at risk of being spotted and eaten by its enemies. Meanwhile, the deep sea dancer makes its getaway. They glow to daze and dazzle. When threatened, the vampire squid spurts a cloud of glowing ink at its predator while it swims away. Green bomber worms release glowing round balls when pursued. And some glow for fun. Well, not exactly. Scientists just don't know yet why some animals are bioluminescent. Scientists are discovering new bioluminescent life forms every day. But most of the reasons they glow are still mysteries. For example, no one knows why some Tomopterous worms squeeze out yellow light that's invisible to almost all other sea creatures. Large animals glow. Siphonophorus, such as the well-known Portuguese man of war, or this Nanomia cara, are stringy, jelly-like animals that drift through the water, snagging their prey with their tentacles. Some can be very long. The Praia Dubia can stretch longer than a basketball court. Little animals glow. But if you have enough of them, they can have a big effect. Sometimes bioluminescent dinoflagellates gather together and then get trapped in ocean bays making the shoreline light up at night with each wave. See how the wave's lighting up? That's super cool. Some living things make their own light. They glow. It's called bioluminescence. And now you know. Hawaiian bobtail squid attract bioluminescent bacteria that live inside them. The bacteria then matches the color of the moonlight through the water, making the squid almost invisible to the animals they hunt. So just some follow-up science. While there is no doubt that the life forms in this book display amazing features and behavior, many of them are actually quite tiny, like the size of an apple or smaller. The photographs are enlarged so we can see the creature's details. Furthermore, these photographs are terribly hard to take and are quite rare. They are snapped deep underwater in total darkness with a flash. Sometimes that means the photographs are less clear than what we are used to seeing. Additionally, sometimes they do not capture the life form's bioluminescent aspects. To help explain some of this, the drawings below highlight where bioluminescence occurs and also details the true size of the organisms and where they are found in nature. So you can see this whole page has pictures. So here's our anglerfish. And he has his bioluminescent bob at the top here. Here's another anglerfish with the bioluminescence up here. Here's the scaly dragonfish. And that bioluminescence is here on the chin. The gulper eel has bioluminescence all the way down its tail. We got mushrooms, jellyfish, squid, so many things glowing on our earth. I hope you enjoyed this book. It was Glow, Animals with Their Own Nightlights by W.H. Beck. Have a lovely evening, scientists.